All right, today you'll meet a group of Grammy nominees in the classical category, but they are anything but Brahms over Beethoven. And they have a wide range of talent performing what's called new music, representing the cutting and creative, creative edge of classical. Meet Devontae Hines and Third Coast Percussion. Devontae Hines' talent is as impeccable as his style. His music ranges from R&B to indie pop, like this tribute to the 80s with Gia Coppola, to TV and movie scores. What do you want? I want a guy to show me myself. He wrote the score to Queen and Slim, the film Palo Alto, and Luca Guadagnino's We Are Who We Are, and his work producing a classical album has landed him two Grammy nominations. It was initially a commission for a dance piece. So initially, the, I wrote all the music with um, choreography by Emma Portner. The album, titled Heinz Fields, is a collaboration with Grammy winners Third Coast Percussion. We won a couple years ago. It was the first time a percussion group had won in the chamber music category. The Chicago-based Percussion Ensemble performed at the 2017 Grammys with Ravi Coltrane, John Coltrane's son. Have you seen changes ever since you won? Uh, getting that kind of recognition is, is really important for us and um, has made a huge impact on our career. This year with Devontae Hines, they could get two more Grammys. They're nominated for Best Engineered Classical Album and Best Chamber Music Small Ensemble. Fields was entirely composed by you and is your first fully classical record. Can you talk about the process? Yeah, I mean, you, you say percussion, and even to me, who's you know quite versed in music, I, I still had quite a limited uh, idea of what that entailed. So going there, I saw how much they could actually do with that. It's it's a real wide range of stuff, and so that was super inspiring. With COVID restrictions, they're all disappointed they can't attend the ceremony this year, and it would have been Devontae's first time at the Grammys. Since there's no Grammy awards per se, red carpet, what will your plans be? <laughs> I'm so sad about that. You know, I, I I have like kind of etched in my brain like so many iconic Grammys outfits. I don't know. Honestly, I'll probably just be this guy back here um, and uh, yeah, we just watch him and order some food. <laughs> just like the rest of us. And watch all of the performances right here on CBS2 when the Grammys air Sunday at 5. And tomorrow, I'll introduce you to Noah Cyrus, Miley Cyrus's baby sister. Mm -hmm. And she's also Billy Ray Cyrus's baby girl. And she's up for Best New Artist. So it's going to be pretty incredible. She's giving her first interview to CBS, too, as well. And I hear it's emotional as well. Oh, yeah. She's so open and in touch with her feelings, and her music shows it. It's really beautiful. Usually you think, oh, it's Miley's baby sister. You know, she's very serious and very open and wonderful. I can't I wait. I like it. And how about Devante from London? Isn't he amazing? I'd love to hear what he thinks about the Royals. You know, I don't know if he has thoughts about the Royals, but he is just so incredible. And we have to point out a rare person of color nominated in the classical category, though he does pop, he does scores. He is really making a name for himself in the industry. All right.